Screens have functioned as emotional pacifiers and babysitters in many homes. Many parents tell us that the children are already addicted to screens and that they are unsure how to limit the children's screen time, while many others are searching for innovative ways to get the children away from screen. So I hope you find this video helpful in determining how to encourage your children to use screens and time productively. Hey there, welcome back to my social media platform, The Happy SLP. For those of you who are meeting me for the first time, my name is Hannah Elza Abraham and I'm an audiologist and a speech language pathologist from India. And I create videos to raise public awareness about speech, language, hearing and swallowing issues. So in today's video, I'd be sharing tips to the parents so you all can consider following them before introducing screen to your children next time and also how to keep your children engaged without showing them screens. So make sure you watch till the end and don't miss any of the tips as they are all equally significant. Children younger than 18 months should not use screen media except for video chatting. Uh, when introducing media to children between 18 and 24 months, find high quality programs to watch or play with them. You should limit screen time for children aged 2 to 5 to 1 hour of high quality programming per day. Establish media control rules with your family and enforce them with all the children. So whenever possible, co-watch. The best thing you can do to help your children understand what they are seeing is to watch the show or play the game with them. You can comment on what you notice, ask questions about what is happening or sing along with your child when someone on the show is singing or if your child is watching a rhyme. Talk to them after the show is over and repeat concepts that you have taught them to be more likely to retain the information. So let us take the example of watching a program about a zoo. So you can model the animal names, ask what noises the animal makes and use a related book to look up to the animals that they have already seen during the program. Select media wisely. Always choose age-appropriate shows for the kids and if possible, review the content your child would be watching before introducing the show to your child. Actively enhance and limit media encounters by selecting them collaboratively and purposefully. Family time, meal time and bedtime should be screen free. Screen should only be used during long car trips and your family may want to establish a curfew or a time when all screens are off. Family time is a prime opportunity for social learning and it is crucial to balance both online and offline. One of the most important points to be noted is that you should limit your phone use when your children are nearby. It does no good to tell your child to turn off his video games while you are sitting in front of the TV. You need to set healthy limits on your electronic use for your own sake as well as your child's sake. Children will imitate what they see their parents do because their parents are the most significant people in their lives while they are young and they will emulate any behavior they witness and if they see you sitting in front of a screen all day every day they'll think it is normal and want to do the same another important thing is that the major three should be emphasized what are the three sleep good nutrition and exercise for both children and adults all three are necessary for healthy brain growth and development as well as health and wellness Excessive screen time might have a negative influence on all three. Children who spend more time in front of computers eat more fast food and fewer fruits and vegetables as well as getting less sleep and exercise. As a result, including healthy lifestyle choices into everyday routines as well as limiting screen time is critical. Consider a digital detox for the entire family regularly. It could be beneficial to everyone's physical and emotional well-being as well as connections to your family. To reduce advertisement exposure, choose content from high-quality, non-commercial sources. So when selecting content, pay attention to messages on gender, body, image, violence, diversity and social issues. Because of the possibility of melatonin suppression, always remember to avoid screens for at least one hour before the bedtime. Keep in mind that too much screen time equals fewer opportunities for teaching and learning. To keep your child peaceful and quiet, don't use digital media or technology as an emotional pacifier. 
children must be taught how to recognize and manage the strong emotions which they cannot learn properly through digital means try to stay away from using screens to tame negative behavior while this is frequently the easiest way to avert a temper tantrum it can quickly become a habit and it will be difficult to break your child's habit of expecting screen time whenever they cry make every moment spent in front of the screen as engaging as possible so as i've already previously stated rather than putting your child in front of a television or an ipad and walking away attempt to enjoy the media alongside them make meaningful connections between the characters or events on a film and your child's real life by talking about what they're seeing on screen and asking questions So when it comes to digital media kids will be kids and they will make mistakes so these can be teachable moments for your child's learning and development if handled with empathy so take into account your child's or teen's age and behavior an excellent plan for one family might not be suitable for another so with adequate guidance and consistency positive and healthy screen use is possible There are also numerous things you can do regardless of your child's age to develop beneficial screen habits. So it's never too late or early to start incorporating this into your child's routine. So if your child is already addicted to screens, then limiting the screen time all at once would not be a good thing. So begin by reducing your child's screen time only a little. Increase the limitations progressively until you have attained the ideal quantity of screen time. Also make sure to substitute one of the options below during times when your child would ordinarily be using a screen. Begin by establishing some screen related rules. So if your child is old enough to comprehend, make sure you explain why you're limiting screen time to him or her. If your child does a task or completes the homework or spends time playing outside, screen time can be utilized as a reward. Another major important that all parents have is that Uh, what can i do with my child instead of allowing him or her to watch screens so try some of these screen free options that i'm going to discuss now which would be better for your child's development and will also help you form a stronger bond with them so what matters most is that you strive to replace your child's media consumption with alternative activities that he or she enjoys and there are many more helpful ways they can stay engaged acquire strong speech and language abilities and contribute to their growth but it may require some trial and error ways so here are the suggestions have a conversation with your child and if your child only responds with one word ask more specific inquiries rather than open ended queries and playing at the park or outside is a good option and you can always read their favorite books to them and you can sing nursery rhymes or songs along with them and doing craft projects with them or toys or board games are also fun to play with and you can cook together to improve visual memory model vocabulary and enhance category knowledge play animal pairs the model a ready steady go as well as a directional language like left right up down etc and transportation terminology like car bike all these can be done through raising activities play a drawing game to help with movement control while learning colors and shape names guessing what each other is drawing and describing what you see or you can also do fill in the blanks with color or take a stroll take a car ride and discuss what you see or go to the library and browse for books about a topic that your child is interested in and give your child a new skill to learn and you can always teach or practice a sport in the backyard and you can do rides with them in cycles and visit a location with an indoor playground and if you have a garden you can sow seeds or plants with them and participate in a family service activity such as assisting an elderly neighbor or a cousin with with housework and i'm sure your children will object to the lack of screen time at first but remember that you are doing them a huge favor by limiting their exposure and providing them with wonderful new experiences that will open their minds improve their language development and possibly introduce them to new hobbies or interests they wouldn't have discovered otherwise so i understand this is a difficult task but it will be well worth it in the end So keep doing it you've got this and I'm sure that you will all work towards achieving this and 
I really hope this video was helpful. So if it is, leave a like and that will help my channel tremendously. And if you want to keep continuing to learn more about the related content, feel free to check out the playlist or check out the videos up there. So furthermore, consider subscribing so that you will not miss future videos. You can always contact me, the happiest selfie, either via comments or through my social media accounts, Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. And regarding your concerns and queries regarding speech, language, hearing and swelling issues. And the links are given below in the description and I will try my best to help you. So until we meet again in another video, stay happy and much love. Hannah, the happy SLP.